Welcome, I'm from is a Samsung Galaxy A21s and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. Now to get started, once you put it up, you will be presented with a welcome screen, so let's tap on the arrow and select our language. I'm gonna go with English and then tap on next. From here we can connect to mobile network by inserting a SIM card. I'm gonna skip this for now. And then we have uh, some user agreements that we need to agree to. Uh, as you can see, basically almost all of them apart from the first one are optional, so you don't need to agree to them. If you want to, you can well, read the details and then select it if you want to, but um, the gist of it, you need to, you need to select the first one. From here, let's tap next and then connect to Wi-Fi. Again, this step is optional. You can connect to it. If you don't have any Wi-Fi that you can connect to at the moment, you can completely skip it. And the only thing you will miss out at this stage is just connecting to your Google account and having the option to restore your device from an old backup located on the Google Cloud. Now, if you skip this, you can still do that later on after you connect to your Google through settings. All those options are still accessible just through settings. I'm gonna skip it for now. And then we have copy apps and data. So you can restore the device uh, using, I assume, the uh, uh, app of some sorts that Samsung has to just transfer from an old device. Now I'm gonna set it up as new, so I choose don't copy. And then we have date and time. So you can choose your date and time if it's not correct. Uh, but for me, it actually is set, set correctly, so I don't need to do anything. So let's tap on next. Then we have Google services. Uh, you can read what they do exactly. As you can see, you have the use location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now I'm most certainly not into the last one. And then scanning and uh, location are things that I will use from time to time when I need to basically connect to something uh, or some app requires it. So I can keep it on here. Let's go to next and accept at the bottom. And from here we can protect our device. So we have a couple of different ways can, we can do it. Either through face recognition, a fingerprint, pattern pin, or password. Now the first two will require one of the three below that. So if you want to have either fingerprint or face recognition, you will still need to set a pin, pattern, or password, one of them. Um, you cannot have fingerprint or face recognition alone without any kind of physical way that you can remember to unlock the device. So I'm gonna go with just a pattern and skip the face recognition along with the fingerprint. Let's tap on confirm and give it a moment. There we go. And now it's set. So from here we have get recommended apps. Um, you can get them or not if you don't want it. Uh, so we have some voice recognition, Samsung internet browser, Samsung members, and Samsung notes. Now, uh, some of those apps will require, uh, I believe their Samsung account. Um, I believe something like Samsung members might require an app or not an app, uh, but an account for, from Samsung specifically. And from there we can go on and we have the ability to sign into the Samsung account. Now this step is completely optional. Uh, once you try to skip it, it will give you a message that uh, by skipping this you will lose out Samsung Cloud, uh, Galaxy Themes, uh, Find My Mobile and Galaxy Store. Uh, personally, I don't care for either any of those, uh, so I'm just gonna skip it. But if you want to use one of those apps, then, well, you can create an account and log in or simply log in if you already have one. And past that, we're all done. Tap on finish. And let's wait for the home screen to show up. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.